when I came outside just now, it's like just past one o'clock. I took a bunch of snow off my car last night or this morning when I was done with the videos. You guys, dude, I love you guys so much. I am so on my butt tired, oh my gosh. But look at, it's a lot of snow, guys. It's a lot of snow. This is a lot deeper than it looks, I'm telling you. It's about a foot and a half, just right there. It really is. The motorcycle garage is halfway at full. Holy crap. Oh, you know what, I need to, oh man, I don't oh, know, it's too deep. I need to do this. Hope I don't knock my bike over. Hang on guys, almost done. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so much snow. Holy criminy. I know I'm saying a lot of holy criminy, but holy criminy. Shut these down. Oh, man. All right, guys, let's do this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, freaking cold, yo. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, come on, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Can't see behind me, there's my rear view. Well, let me see if I can get some of this snow off the window. If I slam on the door, nope. Oops. Well, that's great. I can't even roll down the windows. Oh, there we go. That one I can. This window doesn't want to go. It wants to. Yes. All right, you guys. So we're off. But I gotta get this a little lower. I know it's gonna fall in the car. Come on, don't fall in the car, but it did. Of course. Clearly I can't see anything and this is crazy. Dude, this is sick, yo! Oh, the snow is so yo do woho. It's January 25th, oh, it's two o'clock, my bad. January 25th, 2021, folks. And we are blazing in more ways than one today. We're blazing the trail. Hey, so oh my gosh, look at all the snow, yo! Shut up! Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so guys, I'm freaking, I'm, I'm just, I love you guys so much. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh, look at, there's nobody here. What is going on? Nobody was able to get up here or something? I don't get it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So how you guys doing this beautiful day, yo? It's a beautiful day. Love gonna be so yeah. Look at the satellite parking lot, it's empty. They, dude, the roads must be closed, dude. Yeah. I mean, I, dude, oh my gosh. I hope you guys don't don't feel bad about me getting, getting excited about that. I was just excited because, oh my gosh, town's gonna be dead. This is awesome. But I'm not excited for you guys that were coming up. I'm so sorry to hear this. Or to see this. Look at this, man. This is sickening. So much snow with nowhere to go. And we're nominee no ba do do do. Nominee boo do do. Show me. Oh, I want that. It's for sale. Let's buy it. It's the 25th of January, my friend, we are looking hairy. And it's scary to drive hairy on this January 25th of January. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to like, pass people because I can't see to my right. so incredibly beautiful. There is so much snow in town right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at her butt. It's so big. Oh my god. Oh, I can't see making a left because I can't see out of my window. Hopefully we're good. This place is pathetic. Starbucks, you're pathetic. They're closed because it's snowing. 
Seriously, what a joke, man. Does that make any sense to you guys? Once again, we are a tourist town that thrives when it snows. And they make excuses that they can't open because it's snowing. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oops, there's, there's my friend. Anyway. Yeah, boy. Poor guy. Me and his wife just just got into it, so I'm here to support him. I, I love my friends, so that's that's just what I do. He's gonna hang out with me for the day. All right, guys, we just picked up my good buddy Kevin. Kevin, what say, up? say hello. <laughs> you <laughs> too. <laughs> this guy's super cool. He, I consider him one of my best friends up here. You guys, I don't have really any friends, as you guys know. Um, I'm very, 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 very difficult to deal with because I, I, I like honesty and just candor and. It's really tough to come by these days. I, and, and I like the honesty that, you know, I might not like to hear it, but that's the type of honesty that I need in my life is the type where I can actually trust somebody and know that it's constructive criticism. They aren't trying to just be jerks. So yeah, that, that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the type of homeboy we got in the car right now. So anyway, you guys, we're gonna be heading over to, uh, to, the, to the main part of town over by the village, just so you guys can, uh, See what's going on after we got the new foot of snow, dude. I did a live feed last night. Yeah. Um, the fact like, that it's like starting to happen is like such a such a blessing because I, I love doing this. Like it's not about the money, and that's the cool thing that it comes in now. It's like what the fuck. But yeah. Or I didn't say the f word. You guys you didn't hear that. <laughs> Guys, those clouds right there look so, so beautiful. Then as you guys can see to the left, that snow summit, it's gonna be straight here in a second. But. So if you guys are, are wondering what that what that is in the background, um, what exactly is your job, job description? I'm an electrician by trade, okay. uh, but I do more than just electrical work. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. Dude, that's the, it, that's, that's the weirdest thing. My freaking ex-best friend who like totally screwed me over. Um, I want to make it clear though, he didn't mooch off me, but he took everything he could. And then when he didn't need my help anymore, my, my friendship, he just bailed. But this dude right here is exactly like my, my best friend. Uh, he's in, he's in an electrician by trade. My best friend spent did three tours in the, in the military in Afghanistan, and 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 this guy did a lot of tours as well. Um, yeah, dude, they're just real real freaking men. Hard hard to, hard to come about real real men these days. Men who say something and they mean it. And uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just very 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 blessed to to be around the type of people that I feel like I am. So thank you, Bill. Sorry if this is super boring. Look at the roads. I, uh, yeah, I know, dude. I think they must have shut down the roads because yeah. there's no one parked at any of the, the the snow resorts or the ski resorts. Yeah, the highways are shut down. Mm -hmm. All highways. Dang. <laughs> that's that's. I'm sorry, you guys, but my boy right here, man. Like, uh, if if he says that, then we know it, it's it's a fact. Um, and the fact that I can't see really anybody in town, as I showed you guys when we went to go meet up with this dude, um, when, when I showed you guys the satellite parking lots, like the brownie lot and stuff like that, there was no one there, zero. And these are the these are the type of days that I was telling you guys, when I get a chance to go skiing, this is exactly the day that I need to go skiing because when we get a huge dumping, if, if it's so big that they close down the roads, then that means that that day it's gonna be so dead at the ski resort, literally no line, ever for any freaking lift you just go right ski right up to it um, because no one no one can get up here now tomorrow it's gonna be a different story uh you it's, you guys are gonna be lucky to get in like two runs the whole day no joke it's gonna be nuts but it's gonna be beautiful look at it there's like two feet on that roof right there holy smokes dude that's awesome and feel free to do whatever you need. You're not going to interrupt me or, or be rude or nothing. You're all good. You, you take care of your day, things you got to do. Then we'll go back and check out the, the dab 
damage that was done. Right. Oh, there's a semi truck in the middle of the boulevard right there by Circle K. What do you Straight mean? up stuck, dude. There was a semi stuck just sideways. Yeah, they barely just cleared it when I came through. Oh, no way. Yeah, and like they're still keeping Dead Man's Curve. It's completely closed. Because of that? Yeah, one one lane going going inbound or outbound, dude. dude. So it don't matter. Dude, done. dude. You gotta go back roads. Thank God there's there, the roads are closed up and down the mountain, right? Because if we had that traffic situation with everybody allowed up here, we'd be, we'd be screwed. We'd be screwed. I'd be taking the day out. Well, I, I don't have the ability to, dude. Like, uh, I feel like you and I are a lot alike like that, where, uh, like, uh, I just can't not work, dude. Like, I, 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 I just, it's really hard. Ah, I just love it, guys. The fresh snowfall, just absolutely just covering these trees. Just so cool. Yeah, we were getting three inches an hour. Yeah. Since yeah. last night. Yep, yep, yep. At the video, I did it like four in the morning. It lasted an hour. Um, that one was um, because it was the heaviest part of, of the storm, so I had to go out. And uh, I drove around the whole lake, and it was it was it was like blizzard conditions basically the whole way. I was literally like slowing down to speeds like this. Me knowing these roads, and you know how I drive like this. Like guys, I can't see anything. Like dude, it was right, sick. Dude. It was yes, dude. It was sick. I love the storms like that. <laughs> yeah, it was so intense, man. I loved it. So did these guys. But it's crazy because, dude, most of the comments now are like, dude, I freaking love this channel for your commentary and stuff. Dude, it's, it's, it's like not even about the weather. That's why I was saying I think there's something really special about this channel. Like, like right. something... And uh, as I said, dude, I just want to take take my friends with me, and uh, all of you that work your asses off and do really well, like I'd like to like like help, like to like so we can all have even better lives than we already have because you do work hard and you make a damn good living because you've applied yourself, and those are the people I like to associate. You become who you uh, uh, you know associate with, and and uh, and with more people together as friends who generate a lot of income dude the more fun you can have is so freaking awesome like you know i you know money doesn't technically buy happiness of course not but not having money doesn't buy happiness either it's all how you manage it that is so cool oh they're stuck oh they're trying to back out of their airbnb oh that's a bummer man yeah. that's a bummer but guys did you see the blizzard the tree just Ooh. created all the snow falling off the tree and just created this huge little blizzard right here. Dude, my grandpa had a saying, man. It was, uh, money doesn't buy happiness, but it makes a good down payment. Hey, you know what? That is so well said. That is so well said. Because I will tell you right now, and once again, this is not being an arrogant, condescending jerk, but the people that I've heard say money can't buy you happiness are the people who have never had the money to, to experience what it can. Like, I'll tell you, with my Crohn's disease, having unsubsidized the most expensive, best health insurance each month, that's, that, that's happiness. Being able to take care of my mom and dad and know that they aren't gonna suffer, that's happiness, dude. Um, like uh, there, are, there are a lot of things, but as I said, you can have a lot of money or not have any money. It all depends on how you manage your situation. You can be happy as hell poor, you can be happy as hell rich, but it's all how you manage your situation. And me, later on in life, I decided to seek out the happiness before the wealth. And that always seemed ass backwards to me because I always thought, hey, if I have money, then I'll be happy. But once I changed my thinking and started to seek the happiness, and, did, and then the money didn't really, I didn't care. That's when the money started coming in. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? So, yeah. I got sack someone's. And then I can't stand it when like someone texts me, hey dude, like, I really need something. Are you available right now? Oh, like, yeah. And then like 10 minutes later, nothing. So I, I responded, hey, let me know. I'm heading out the door. Like 45 minutes later, now nothing. <laughs> hey bro. <laughs> Guys, look at this. I think this is an obvious sign that there is no there is no traffic coming up. At least there wasn't earlier. And coming up the mountain this from this direction, guys, you guys are going to hit some of the heaviest snow because you're going to be hitting some of the parts of the mountain, the northwest facing slopes that don't have any interference. There there's nothing blocking it. Like our our area right here, 
this part of town would get t three times more snow if we didn't have that mountain right there. If we didn't have the snow summit mountain right there, like that whole little, that mountain to the left of us, that that blocks a lot of the storms. And when the storms hit that, they they lift. And when 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 when, when you get when you get that lift, it, it creates it condenses everything and then what happens you end up getting precipitation so if we didn't have those mountains we'd get really dumped on right here and uh yeah it would be a lot longer of a dumping too all well, you have something to say if you don't lift it no i mean i usually don't try not to live anywhere are we live yeah well, we aren't, we aren't, we aren't, we aren't, we aren't, we aren't live. You can still edit. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, 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 right. I don't live cigarettes, bro, never have, never will. Yeah, good, 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 good. And yeah, dude, I, I quit January 1st. And by the way, you guys, thank you for the compliments on that. I've, it's, it's been, it's been easy. Like I told you guys, I told you guys, for me, these things are easy because I've, I've, I've done it so much. I just haven't maintained, like, except this last time I quit for four straight years, but, um, but yeah, let's see here. And then hang on guys, I gotta shut this down for a sec. Life's a garden, man, you just gotta ride it. You gotta ride that wave out, bro. Guys, I wish I just had this recording with these words of wisdom that our boy just said because it was very, very poignant, very on point. It was beautiful. That was not, dude, that was well said. Okay. That was, I wish it was, can you repeat it if, if you remember exactly what he said because I was... Yeah, yeah, I can, em I can embody the stress of the entire world, man, but it ain't going to help me at all or get me nowhere. You know, life's that wave, man. You just got to pick your uh, lane and, and ride it. Guys, come on now. I'm, I'm not charging you guys for the Dr. Phil hour either. So, <laughs> so like, <laughs> you guys need to... In, ser seriously, guys, this is the type of person that I that I choose to associate with. And, uh, um, yeah, wonderful freaking people. When you guys come up here, if you guys are, are ever in, like, situations and, uh, you know, like, uh, I've got a few a few people up here who, when they aren't doing their full-time gigs and their full-time family stuff, like, uh, um, when they're available, like, uh, they're willing to help lots, lots of times. Obviously, you know, like, like uh, some of this stuff, you know, takes a little bit of money. To, to like get someone out to like do something but I want you guys to know that I do have a few few really good good folks that are absolutely willing to help um, when you guys are stuck or like something's happening so don't fret you guys we got your back and don't forget you guys this is where we just stayed in that huge th uh, s the three bathroom and jacuzzi suite <laughs> it looks so much nicer with all the snow though because it's just such a concrete joint over there Right, it does look pretty serene. Oh, dude! All right, so uh, I guess gotta see where this dude wants to meet. We're just gonna pull into the parking lot up here real quick, and then we gotta go meet up with someone real quick, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're gonna upload this video so you guys can see. Wow, how much snow is here! Jeez, this is cool. It's not really like that much. Like I've seen more here, guys, but we got another foot and a half before Friday. That'll be here. So. Yeah, this morning at 10 o'clock, I think we were at 20 inches. Oh, from the past two days? Then? Yeah, uh, 20 inches uh, just last night between last night and today. Dude! Yeah. Guys, you guys hear that? That's from Caltrans themselves. I was telling you guys when I was looking at some of these roofs, it looked like 18 to like two feet. I'm telling you, I, I, knew, I, wasn't, I knew I wasn't wrong. I knew it, so... Hang on tight, guys, just real quick. I gotta check something. But yeah, dude, dude, I've, 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 I know what you're going through. I don't wish it on, I don't wish it on my worst enemy, dude. Dang, like, they uh, got plowed through here. They got blasted, man. No one has parking lots open dude, today. It, guys, this is crazy, man. Dude, this snow is just crazy today. Especially without fast it felt. Like, yeah. Man, when dude. I was making all my, all, all my videos last night, because as I said, I made one, that live feed started at 8, ended at 11. Then I made another video at 12.30 to 1.30, and then I made another video at 5 to, like, 6. Um, dead tired, dude. Completely on my ass. <laughs> like, but uh, with the love these guys show me and all the money that you guys sent through that live feed, um, like, dude, it's so easy for me to get my lazy butt up to go do this for you guys because I love doing it. And the fact that you guys are so selfless it's the easiest bit of energy that I need 
to do anything. And you guys are absolutely the most, most just, just paramount source of anything good in my life. And I try to pass along everything from you guys that I learn and that I feel and that I get from you guys to my friends and everyone around me. Um, you guys bring me joy, you, you bring me peace and freedom, and I try to share that with everybody around me that I love. So hang on guys, gotta respond to this message. Okay guys, so he works for Destination Big Bear, he works for who, who else? I do contracts for like Wild Rentals, Destination Big Bear, Turnkey, and uh, if you're looking for an Airbnb this weekend, I don't recommend it. You're gonna have a one tough time. Guys, that's coming from literally some of the sources, okay? Uh, so uh, yeah. I would not, because I have so many of you that trust me, I would not have anyone give you information that I didn't trust. So, um, we aren't saying don't try, like, uh, you know, if you don't try, you'll never get it, but it's going to be very difficult. You're going to be, you're going to be struggling to, to find a place, but that's what I was telling you guys why in the next year and a half is a big reason why I'm desperate or not desperately, but really trying to open up a, a bed a bed and breakfast type thing which is going to cater specifically to you guys in these types of situations obviously i'll cater to everybody however when it comes to this type of weather and this type of uh kind of tough situation uh i'm here to help you guys first and foremost um when the hotel rooms regularly it's like 80 bucks and then when it snows they charge you 300 i'm not going to do that I'm gonna charge you 301. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I got you guys covered. And then this guy right here, he's uh, he's someone I've been really considering getting into that type of a business with. Um, uh, yeah, the, the guy's knowledgeable about so much, and he's had experience through a lot of this. And uh, you want to work with with folks that are that are smart, but more so that have experience doing what you want to do. And, and this guy's got both best of both worlds. He's smart. And uh, he has ambition and knows what he's doing. Thank you for being a rarity. <laughs> right. My mom tried. <laughs> you know what? Your mom did a good job, dude. You're, you're not so bad, brother. No, nah, it didn't turn out that bad, honestly. You, you really didn't. You really didn't. But these guys. Uh... Oh, oh, there's a Johnny Law right there. Oh, no. It says Tesla. My bad. I got sent to boarding school in Denver, Colorado for two years. Obviously, I got to come home and visit all the time, but when I got sent out there for two years when I was 14 and 15, um, uh, oh my God, what was, what were we just talking about? The charger. The oh yeah, so the police in Boulder, like, drove like Corvettes and like Camaros and stuff, but all, obviously all wheel drive, and I never knew that, that they had that, but yeah, the, the cops are literally drive, were, had port or not Porsches, Corvettes in Boulder, Colorado when I was living right near there. Crazy. Oh my gosh, this is one of my old YouTube friends. No way, dude. Okay, Alright guys, we are back on. We just have to go to Walgreens real real quick. And uh dude I've got a freaking train horn on my car and this guy who like has all the the characteristics of my 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 previous best friend, he's got a freaking train horn for his ring. <laughs> I love it. Only from the best. <laughs> hey guys, look, this is this is usually completely packed. I mean, completely. Oh packed. yeah, dude, no room. Like, like literally. Yeah, now you like, got a guy sledding by the Porter Johnson. <laughs> you know what? And then on our way back, we're gonna go through and do some donuts. Is that cool? Yeah. I love it. These guys love it too. They right, you guys. You guys love the donuts, right? Yeah, I love them too. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, or wait, no, we're gonna take some, and then, yeah. and then we'll go. We'll yeah. go grab my car too, dude, so you get some. Oh yeah, dude. I got Our, my silver one, the silver CB today. Okay. Yeah. Only because the blue one has no tread on the tires. Otherwise, I would drive it, but I didn't want to risk it in the snow. <laughs> I'm not worried about my life. I'm worried about everybody else's. No, dude, dude, I'm in the same boat, man. That's that's what I let all my freaking. You know what? We're just gonna go straight because this guy's killing me. You're cool, brother. Thank you. Right, that dude's name is Juan. Oh, really? Yeah, literally, though, he's cool. He's a good plow driver. 
Most of these guys he do, doesn't try to bury your car. You know? Dude, thank yeah, thank God for him. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike the New York dudes I've seen. Okay. Because they they're gonna want this this uploaded. We're just gonna do a couple quick donuts. It just in this real quick, and then I'll upload this one, and then I'm, I have to do another one right afterwards anyway. Fucking crazy. I need my pills, guys. Nice. Guys, we're just gonna make this real quick because there's no one in the parking lot, and we're just gonna do this real quick. And then with his car, though, in a little bit, way better fun, I think. <laughs> I think because it's fast, it's a lot faster too. His car, a lot faster than mine. Yeah, it's got a little bit of modage down to it. <laughs> Yeah, but I haven't modified. Well, I mean, I don't have any. seven grand worth of mods to the motor, probably another like nine grand worth of mods to the interior with lighting and everything. So yeah, it's probably well over like an eighteen thousand dollar car, and you wouldn't notice it. <laughs> That's why we're gonna have fun in it, guys. So, unfortunately, my car kind of sucks because I've upgraded it so much in terms of like the, the like, uh, so you don't slip the tires. And yeah. Stuff too. this tree right here guys and then we're gonna have to go back to the house for a second <laughs> we're not gonna get a turn here though unfortunately oh oh we got it oh oh wow like went like overcorrected for itself all right we're out of here guys when we do this in his car it's gonna be so much fun <laughs> all right let's let's bail I'll come out of the parking lot sideways. <laughs> Dude, that's... And back into the parking lot sideways. <laughs> Slide right in. <laughs> and, and guys, we're getting dumped on right now. Did you just notice this come out? Let's, yeah. let's just start it again. Let's start and pile up again. Look at that, guys. The night storm. Dude, storm three of uh, two. Or uh, what? Storm out three. Like, that's three. incredible if it's storm three out of two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three three it's right a massive now, storm. <laughs> Oh no, we have we have another a uh, two. Sweets. We have that large that next large one, and then the second part of it's actually like a second little system. But we're only supposed to get a, a few inches from that. You guys, yeah, we're getting some snow again, and look, there's nobody on Moon Ridge. This is awesome. Anyway, I love you guys. Look at this. <laughs> they just did this again. Unbelievable. Here we go. You guys ready? <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> I have to do that. Right. <laughs> you guys, I wish you were here because that's fun, man. Like we just hit like a th three and a half, four foot berm <laughs> and just went right through. That was badass. That was as badass as it comes. All right, guys. So we're going to upload this video for you guys. I love you guys a lot. Thank you guys for everything you do for me. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm always here for you. Any questions, any concerns you have, you know I answer it to the best of my ability. And if I don't know the answer, I don't just give you guys a BS answer. I actually call people like him or other people to ask them if I don't know something because your lives are very important to me. So anyway. Later, YouTube. Love you guys, man. <laughs> thank you guys for, for being a part. I really appreciate it. And uh, actually, I'm a part of you guys. So thank you. I love you all.